Rough science, where a team of scientists have been stripped of their computers, separated from high-tech comforts and deposited on a deserted island. They don't know exactly where they are yet and they've never worked together before. But for the next three days, this remote island wilderness will be the setting for a gruelling test of their lateral thinking and science know-how. Mike Bullivant is our chemistry wizard. Vanessa Griffiths, our intrepid marine biologist. Jonathan Hare is our physics guru. Mike Leahy, our scientist action man. And Anna Lewington is our roving plant expert. After trekking across the island, our team arrive at an abandoned prison complex destined to become an improvised science lab and brainstorming headquarters. Provided at the prison some simple tools and low-tech materials, but that's it. It's back to basics and from now on it's over to them. Their first challenge is to pinpoint accurately our longitude and latitude using little more than a piece of string. During their stay on the island, they're going to have to defend themselves against the local nasties. So, can they come up with an effective insect repellent? And what about a cure for homesickness? Well, with a few smuggled ingredients, our island exiles will attempt to re-establish contact with the outside world by devising one of the world's lowest-tech electromagnetic frequency interceptors. Yes, a castaway island radio. And that should keep them busy for the next three days. After exploring the abandoned prison complex, the team gather together to pool ideas. You actually want the latitude and longitude. Latitude well, and longitude. Pinpoint it exactly so that we can then check exactly. on the map. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. How do we do that? It's well, straightforward yeah. enough, isn't it? Yeah, Mike. <laughs> I can do it. Come on, then. Well, we've got the sun. We've got the sun and, and stars. stars. And stars. Well, Mike Leahy he advocates stargazing for latitude. Little does he know that finding our longitude will become a nightmare. There are quite a lot of flying, biting, buzzing yeah. horrors mm. around <laughs> here. So can Anna come up with some useful plants for an insect repellent? Yeah. So if we could find something like rosemary or yeah. some sage, um, some mint, all these things would be really useful and get the oil out of that. But extracting these oils might be easier said than done. As for the radio, Jonathan's surprisingly confident. You build a radio? We could build a radio. Bring up, it's a brilliant location here, nice and high, so the signals will be quite strong. Can you build a telly? How much are you going to charge us to use your radio? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> By the hour. <laughs> the broadcasting company's already started.